All right, so if you're like most of us diehard Mac people that have dove into Big Sur already, you're wondering why your Mac's battery is draining, the fans are kicking on, the Mac is hot, I'm going to show you why. There's a few things that we can take a look at that will definitely help in this situation. And also, I'm going to leave you with a couple videos at the end that you're definitely going to want to check out in regards to Big Sur app compatibility and further diagnosing Mac hardware issues. So if you ain't subscribed, man, definitely get subscribed. Hit the like button. Thank you very much for helping me out, man. All right, so let's dig in. All right, so one of the very first things that the Mac is going to want to do after an upgrade is re-index all those files that it has on your drive and external drive. So Spotlight, when you hit Command Space Bar or hit the magnifying glass up here, Spotlight might be doing an index of your drive and files right now. So that is one of the main reasons after an upgrade happens that your Mac might be getting hot, it might be fans running, it, it could be all sorts of stuff. So that is the first thing that I would check is to see if Spotlight is running on your Mac. In order to see if my Mac is indexing right now, it's super easy. I just do command space bar and type something in and I will see that my Mac is indexing right now. If this process gets stalled or stuck, we can open up Activity Monitor. So we just type in Activity Monitor, hit Return. I usually go up to View, down to Active Processes, because I want to see which active processes are actually killing my Mac right now. So what we'll notice is we've got Spotlight right here. Spotlight, and I can also zero it out by typing Spotlight up here what you would see is this thing would be kicking at like a hundred percent if it was having a problem or if it was causing problems it would definitely be ranking real high but it doesn't necessarily need to be spotlight causing your issue there could be an app on your system that you had previously installed maybe on catalina or mojave and now it's just not working properly on big sur or maybe there's an update that's needed for that application or maybe you need to get rid of it altogether. So you use Activity Monitor to search for apps that might be causing a problem. It could be Spotlight, it could be something else. Just look in here, see which one is causing, you know, major CPU spikages and also you can click on memory, see if anything's using abnormal amounts of memory. So make sure to leave your Mac if it is doing the Spotlight Index. It does take one, two, maybe three days if you've got a lot of data to index all of that stuff. So I would definitely let it finish unless you know for a fact that it is stalled out and not running. Then what I would do is I wouldn't necessarily come here and kill the process. I would open up Terminal. blow this guy up for you and the command that we're going to use is called mdutil and that allows us to work with spotlight what i would do if i felt like it was stuck i would issue a re-index command so i would do sudo mdutil and then i would do minus capital e and I would say on the root volume and basically that covers everything, my external drives as well. So just by running that command, it will re-index everything that I have on my system. I'm gonna hit go. And boom. And now when I go into taking a look at, I can see I am indexing my drive right now. So it kills it, reissues it, and gets it out of that stuck state. So the next step that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your battery's in good health. So let's open up the battery by going into system preferences, clicking on battery, click battery again. We're gonna click on battery health and you can see that my battery condition is normal and it's looking good. 
if I click out of here, you're going to notice that I do have it shown in the menu bar up at the top. So if I were to uncheck that, it would go away. And also, if I want to add the battery percentage here, I just click on and go back to dock and menu bar. Scroll down to battery and then click show percentage. All right. So we've done all this stuff. My battery looks good. I'm still having the issue. What's my next step? Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to zap your PRAM and NVRAM. And to do that, you're gonna power down the Mac. Immediately after hitting the power on button on the Mac, you're gonna hold down the Option, Command, P, and R keys. All simultaneously, continue holding them for about 25 seconds. You're gonna see your Mac basically reboot a couple times. It, you might even hear the chime if you have the chime enabled. And then after it reboots that two to three times, your Mac has reset that NVRAM and PRAM. The next step that you'd want to take is to reset the SMC. To reset the SMC, you're going to power it down. Immediately after powering it down, just hold the Shift, Control, and Option keys. And then you're going to click and hold the power button on the Mac for about 10 seconds, holding all the keys at the same time for the 10 seconds letting it go after the 10 seconds, hitting the power button on the Mac, and you have reset your SMC. Check your Mac out. If it hasn't been fixed, then definitely go check out this Mac Diagnostics hardware uh, video I got, um, as well as go check out this Big Sur app compatibility video I have. Please let me know what fixed your issues down in the comments uh, so that we can share that information with everybody. All right, you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.